Hi guys, this is Alex from AR Design, and we are so lucky today to be shooting an East German AKM style clone built by Celerain AK. Uh, they're out of Maine, good friend of mine, Lucas, and this is his favorite AK that he built. Uh, it's just an East German gun, plum furniture. Uh, it has a very unique color to the Cerakote on the receiver, the frame, and the stock all the way out to the front. Everything that he did, he Cerakoted in this specific color. And it's, it's a little different if you notice, it's, it's actually a gloss black with a little bit of blue mixed in. Um, Lucas spent years basically trying to color match the original glossy bluish finish on the East German guns as he could. And he Cerakoted this down to even the sight posts and stuff like that. Everything's just beautiful. The fit and finish of this rifle is really, really nice. We mounted one of our very own link slings with our uh, positionable shoulder pad. And that's kind of nice because this is a receiver mounted uh, sling loop. So being able to move your shoulder pad on an AK system to what works best for that AK system is super important. So we have a Ranger Green link hanging off here. I use a Blue Force Gear U loop on all of my AKs. You'll notice, so it's got kind of more of the reddish colored swirly uh, East German Bakelite. The purple up here, Lucas was telling me that they couldn't actually get black at the time in the Bakelite material. So adding super dark purple was the closest they could get to uh, that colorway that they were looking for. And I have, I forget what this is. This is. Anyway, this is a non-German plum magazine, but you can see the differences in the plum across the board, across the firearm. I know the gas block is made by JMAT Customs. So this is built off of, it's got Bulgarian internals. It's got a Bulgarian chromoly line barrel. I have the PBS-1 on it. Came from the factory with a short uh, Russian style 360 muzzle brake. I was gonna shoot it for this video with just the muzzle device too, because you can see how nice and compact this platform is. But I put the PBS one because we're shooting on a, our private range and we got to be polite to the neighbors. So comes with an access, uh, with the optic mount rail. I do have a Holosun 508T on an RS regulate that I'm using intermittently. Uh, you know, if I'm doing some like lower light shooting, it's hard to pick up those iron sights, a lower light with, um, you know, everything being black. These original firearms, these MPIs were destroyed almost in their entirety. And so there was a handful of kits floating around. So that's kind of how Lucas was able to actually color match the original kits to this. So uh, it's a US receiver. Uh, I forget where he gets them from, but it will be in the blog. You can check out the blog on the website that has all the intimate details of this firearm. And I hope you enjoyed watching this video, but don't forget, check out the blog on our website. That is where you'll get all the facts that all you AK dorks would like to learn about this weapon system and the builder. Bye.